In today's video, I am going to be breaking down the reasons why Warren Buffett probably bought more Occidental Petroleum Corporation shares. Now, this is an interesting stock because they haven't done very well recently. They've lowered their dividend. There's some issues with this company, but there's a very massive bright future, especially considering that Warren Buffett finally used some of his cash because he's got billions of it. So, of course, the ticker symbol is OXY, and this is a very interesting stock. While, of course, the dividend shows on Yahoo at 0.94%, it's actually not paying all that much at all right now. Of course, the average volume is huge, especially the day of recording this video, because Warren Buffett is one of those guys that people just follow and will buy an amazing amounts of anything as long as he buys it. So... It's quite interesting. The ex-dividend date is March 9th, which is the day of recording this video, and this video is going to be posted tomorrow on March 10th, so I'm sorry. Either way, so the P.E. ratio is actually quite high as well versus other oil stocks too, so why is he buying this company? When we look at their earnings, it's actually quite interesting because we can see that they've had four beaten quarters, which is an obvious fact of they better because oil prices are ridiculous right now and their revenue this past year is much higher than it ever has been before but their earnings are a heck of a lot better than it was of course in prior years in 2020 they had negative uh, earnings because of course uh, gas kind of went negative but oil went kind of negative they couldn't pay people enough to take it and of course now with the whole war idea as to what's happening over in Europe then of course this is going to really really fuel their earnings into the future and not too sure how long this will last but it is quite interesting as mentioning Warren Buffett ch chips away at his amazing cash pile with a large bet on Occidental so Berkshire Hathaway did disclose on Friday that it had snapped up almost 30 million additional shares of this company. Remember, you have to buy low and then sell high, right? Which is kind of funny because, uh, yes, they while they spent $1.6 billion on this purchase... <laughs> they, they 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 kind of they, they kind of have and I'm stuttering as a joke they have 146 billion dollars in cash which is like crazy what's he waiting for so does this mean that Warren Buffett is starting to feel like the economy is starting to turn back around is he starting to feel like hey it's time to put my money into action or is it just the fact that his money is worth less today because of course the whole idea of inflation is happening and it's worth five to six or even seven or eight percent less than what it was worth a year ago today that could be it it's hard to say however 1.6 billion out of uh, 146 billion is like one percent basically so in the grand scheme of things he's putting one percent of his cash to to work when he starts saying I'm spending 50 billion or 60 billion at that point I would say that maybe there might be a little bit of a couple of year run but at this point for him not to be putting majority of that cash into the market means that he still is a little uh, hesitant on what's happening with the world and with the market um, and who would at his age want to put all of their money into the stock market when you're talking about uh billions of dollars um at this point i just think that they are way too way way too hands off on the stock market and that just shows you right there how much money some of these billionaires actually still have in cash which just fuels my thought that we are nowhere near the end of a bull market and i think that this thing could run a little bit longer or he might think that bond prices might go up in interest rates and might just buy a whole bunch of bonds one or the other. He's getting old. He's like a senior now. So, And when we look at a five-year chart, like they were not doing well before the virus. They definitely were not doing well during the virus. And now it's starting to really spike back up. What does this really mean? So, of course, 
this could be a potential top. This could literally gain almost 70 or 80 percent of its value over the next couple of months. And I really would not be surprised. We have to remember that Biden is a Democrat, which means that they are in the pockets of these billionaires and these hundreds of millionaires. And mainly when I start thinking of that, when I thought, hey, the Democrats are back in office, I automatically assume that the stock market would be going through the roof because they generally, in my opinion, they don't, they don't do stuff by the book. And because of that, they tend to really favor big business and the billionaires. It's a little bit of a misconception. Everyone thinks that the Republicans and the conservatives really uh, kind of push for the big business and all that with the tax breaks. But in reality, uh, they have d different mindsets when it comes to the stock market. And in history, Democrats actually have a better return on the stock market than Republicans if you go back 100 years. And we can also see that with this big spike up, there was also high volume, which of course would have probably been, of course, as we know, Warren Buffett. Now, my thoughts on this spike. There are two different ways that this could run. This could continue to spike higher or it could pull back a bit. See, what usually happens temporarily when a big billionaire investor starts investing more or opens up a new position into a company is it will spike for a few days and obviously spike while that money is flowing into that business. And then there's going to be the people who have been invested in this company for a very long time who may have seen their money dwindle down to very little to say, hey, the money is back. I need to get out of this while I can. And then the price of that stock is going to then fall back down a little bit, back down to earth a bit. And then you'll see a gradual run. We've seen this with Apple. We've seen this when, with Google. When billionaires start getting invested in these businesses, they spike. The people who have been in the business sell off. And then they, of course, slowly buy back in. This is just a cycle that happens with businesses when billionaires start investing in them. Now, Will this fall back down to earth slightly before it starts going back up? It's hard to really say at this point, mainly because there is currently a war that could turn into a world war, which would not be good. And that country that is currently going into war is the one of the largest oil producers in the world. So that's going to affect oil prices, which would then affect the stock price of this business. And when it comes down to it, it's really hard to say what will happen. Personally, I hate mining stocks. I very little invest in them. And yes, I've been in nickel stocks before and had a little bit of a run. I've been in gold stocks before and had a little bit of a run, but I usually trade those. I don't look at them as a long-term investment as Warren Buffett would look at this business as a long-term investment. So to me, I personally wouldn't be investing in this business because it's just so random. We could turn around tomorrow, Biden might say, hey, we need to be energy independent. We need to get these contracts open. We need to start renting out land, leasing out land, get some money in. We are going to go and be the oil producer of the world, which would then tank the price of oil and tank the price of the stock. So anytime that a government official can have a huge say in what a business's profit can be, I stay way away from that. As I was mentioning, they did lower their dividend way back in June of 2020. Yes, they could raise the dividend potentially very soon because oil prices are at all-time highs, or at least getting close to all-time highs, and that could put them back up to that 80 cent range. And if that's the case, then that's looking pretty good if you like dividends like I do, and if you like oil stocks, which I don't. So these are my thoughts on Occidental Petroleum. Right now, I technically do not own any oil stocks. However, I do own Enbridge, just to kind of let you guys know what I own and don't own. But either way, um, overall, this seems like a pretty solid business. Warren Buffett wouldn't be investing into it if he didn't think that it would be, and it could bring you some profits into the near future. We have to remember that Warren Buffett invested in Bank of America back when their when the back when their dividend was a penny, and I invested alongside at the same time as Warren Buffett, and I rode that stock all the way from roughly eleven or twelve dollars a share all the way up to about thirty dollars a share when I sold out, and I wish I never did, but. I like banks, and that just made sense for me. 
I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.